Hello everyone, welcome to chapter seven, part two. We ran out of um, space on our video recording, so we have to record chapter seven in two parts. So here's the rest of chapter seven. Over the fence, then look back across the yard at the hole. Then peek over the fence again. My whiskers wiggled, wondering what he was up to. Suddenly, Toby jumped over the fence. My eyes popped open wide. I thought they were going to burst out of my head. I heard Butch bark. I shuddered. The sound of his roar racing towards the corner of the fence, then down the long straight part toward the hole. The monster had eaten Toby. My brother was a goner. There was a flash. Toby shot through the hole of the fence. Right behind him, the black snout and snapping white fangs appeared. I jumped. Toby turned and leaned down so he could see through the hole. Fatty, fatty, two by four, couldn't get through the bathroom door, so he did it on the floor. Toby giggled over and over as he shredded and flipped his tail. Toby, please come away from there. That butch is going to eat you, please. Toby just shredded and chanted more. After a while, butch went away and Toby jumped back on the fence rail. Toby, I warned you, don't you keep messing with that dog. He's going to eat you. Toby just flipped his tail and laughed. He's fat and he's slow too, Toby sneered. He can't get me. I'm the world's fastest cat and he's the world's slowest, fattest dog. Then Toby jumped over the fence again. I hated this game. I hated Toby teasing the monster. Butch like this, I just knew something bad was going to happen. I just knew Butch was going to catch Toby. But again and again, Toby and Butch played their game. And every time, Toby managed to squeeze through the hole in the fence, just ahead of those snapping white fangs. I guess Toby would have gone on playing this game and teasing Butch forever if it hadn't been for Mother. Toby just jumped on the picnic table and then onto the wood rail when Mother opened the back door. She got her voice up real high and called, Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. My ears perked up. She held the door open with her foot. There were two bowls in her hand. Come on, kitty. Want some stew? I felt my ears perk straight up. Stew? Toby jumped down from the fence and bounded across the yard toward her. I raced after him. I hate the game Toby was playing, but I love stew. Okay, so just to remind you, for chapter seven, the question is, Kiki ran up the tree. That was an instinct. An instinct is something that animals are born knowing. What are other instincts that you know about? So for this one, you might need to use Google or something like that if you don't know about some animal instincts. And just to remind you, this is the picture where Kiki ran and jumped up the tree without even thinking about it. All right, have fun learning at home. Thank you.